I knock it out. No rubber band, no rubber band. Every time I put down, they show me that. If I know, pull out, she got my back. I do you go, I'm happy that. I do you go. Say everything I do is for my woman. What up though? It's your girl Coco and we are back with another video, okay? As you can tell by the title below, we're going to be making some creamer today. Um, I have the containers and we are going to be trying my hand at some sourdough starter and we're going to be filling up some um, pouches because we are not buying those applesauce pouches no more. We're about to make them at home. And I just thought this was really funny, guys. But I actually made this apron in like the seventh grade and uh, in my home ec class. And so I'm not going to wear this today because it's like very um, <laughs> well vintaged. Uh, but I just think it was so funny that uh, I seen this and I found it. So yeah, I literally stitched two of the fabrics together. And then I also found this little pot uh, holder that I made as well. You could tell my colors were like yellow and black and red. <laughs> that was like my thing. And um, yeah, I just thought it was really funny because here I am still enjoying the same things um, that I did in seventh grade. So, uh, but I don't remember how I made this and I don't remember how I made this. So that will be a different series here. <laughs> on this channel, but uh, I just thought I would share that with you guys, but I am about to put my real apron on and we're about to start this video, okay? Okay guys, so I got my handy dandy apron on and like I said earlier, we're gonna be trying our hand at some sourdough starter. And what that is, is basically um, the yeast and it's like an active yeast that you would use in a bread, um, such as like when you get instant yeast from the store. But this is gonna taste a little bit better and it's gonna be a little bit more organic because it's more in, in its natural state. Um, so I'm gonna try my hand at that. Uh, I've been very intimidated, but I'm just gonna go ahead and dive in and I'm gonna fail and I'm gonna win and I'm gonna do whatever. And I'm gonna show you guys because it's okay to do all those things, okay? That's what winners do. <laughs> so I'm gonna try my hand at that and all you need is, did I say that already? All you're gonna need is some all-purpose flour, distilled water that's a little bit warm, and a jar and a band to track it. I'll show you guys what I'm using. I've been stocking this jar for a little bit um, until when I'll sell on Amazon because I just did not feel like paying uh 30 something bucks for a jar or you could use a regular jar whatever container that you have at home you could do that um but i just want i was i'm not that very confident in it so i wanted to make sure i had the right tools um but yeah um and then i'm gonna try to recreate this white chocolate mocha um creamer because y'all look at this I, we get the kroger brand the white chocolate mocha and then i'm actually cleaning these out right now they have like a soapy water in them um because we're finished with them and this french vanilla coffee creamer look what it has in it because it has water sugar and vegetable oil and sunflower oil what is going on what is going on and then this one has i believe the same thing yet um canola oil it says sunflower oil and or canola oil so y'all got both of that and you all got a milk substitute and then a whole bunch of stuff i cannot even pronounce and added color for what so i'm gonna try to recreate this well i will recreate it i'm not trying i'm doing it um but i'm cleaning saving these bottles so i'm gonna use it for something else i had a irish cream creamer that i finished up and so I have that bottle cleaning out right now. I just have it drying. Um, Cause I'm gonna use that for something else. Either I'm gonna use it for my plants or we're gonna use it to hold some beans, some lentils or some cereal, or I might do like a Montessori station for my son. I'm not sure yet. So many ideas that I have for that. But um, I have tons of jars and things 
that I've just been saving. If y'all want like a container uh, upcycle video, I can do that for you guys. Comment down below, upcycle, and I can do that. Anyways, back to the white chocolate mocha. So you're gonna need milk or heavy cream. I'm using heavy cream because I like a thicker cream. I don't like it to be too watery. You're gonna need some sweetened condensed milk. You're gonna need some white chocolate. Um, I'm actually using this container that I also got off of Amazon. It was like 15 bucks. I stocked this as well. It's just the regular, what is this? 800 milliliters, uh, 24 cups. I think it's, yeah, that. And then I got these from Hub Home Goods like a minute ago, like maybe like uh, three weeks ago. And this is the cookie dough, and this is the vanilla caramel cream. Now, you can add these on separately, or you can add it on now, but I think I'm going to kind of spice it up with the cookie dough. Um, so it'll be like a cookie dough white mocha creamer. And you can't get that in the stores, baby. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> and then the next thing I'll be doing is um, making some pouches like these. Um, I actually have a video on the machine I use and everything um, in my baby video playlist. I'll put it up here as well. If y'all want like links and everything, it'll be up there um, from when my son was like six months old and he was like just starting to eat food and like we we're boiling up vegetables and stuff like that and you put them in his pouches. Well, um, the pouches that I was getting at like Target and Walmart and all the yogurt, all that. Yeah, that thing went up to like 20 bucks for like 14. And I have a thing of 50 here that I've already paid $16 for. And then a, I have two of these 48 ounce classic apple sauces that I'm just about to smash in there and call it a day. So that's what we're doing. And uh, let's just get into it because I'm rambling a little too much. Now I know why I've been doing the voiceovers so I can get it done. <laughs> but uh, let's get into this video for real, for real. questions on these I feel like there's gonna be some questions these hold up to four fluid ounces like I said I already have a video here on my channel in detail but I'll go ahead and answer some questions in case y'all just don't want to go see that video because y'all don't have babies um, but uh, yeah these hold four fluid ounces I don't know I think that the regular pouches hold the same it depends on what you're doing, but I think the Target brand of the applesauces only carry three. Um, but yeah, this is, I haven't even used all of this already and I'm already at six. And I also made um, cups out of uh, little applesauce cups. Do I have them here? So I used about four of these already um, for throughout the week because I couldn't. I was trying to wait to do this video for you guys. Um, but yeah, I used four of these out of this already. And so, so far, this has made six and we're like maybe almost done. Um, and this is $3. So 
once you invest in this and some of these so these are the one-time use but i also have the reusable ones so these also hold the four out or these are these are seven ounces actually so they're going to be a little bit bigger for your toddlers but they're easier to clean um because it has an opening here and then you can also use it for like fruit storage cereal i've used that for all kind of things so i like these and they also come with the lids so these are going to be the single use ones which is the 50 pack um i want to say this was like i don't know 16 dollars maybe and this was also 16 dollars. so once you invest in this you don't have to buy this again and i mean if you can find a better deal on these then that would be cool but it's just three dollars three dollars and i think it was actually um two for five is where i got this so that was five dollars and i'm making these so i just want y'all to hear in real time what it sounds like when you're pressing it down um and then we'll move on to the next thing um but this is so fun i remember when i if, if you go back to that video um i was literally so excited i was having so much fun with this thing and now i'm still having fun with it but i can hear the kind of sound that it makes and that's what it sounds like and then when you pull it out you have to do that that's about it so all right guys so i have a little bit more left in here um I don't find it necessary to use this all right now. Um, so this so far has made 10, and then I'm gonna go ahead and write the date um, on there. And then you can also write what it is. Like if you're putting like squash or whatever, you could put it right there. So yeah, anyways, now we're moving on. All right, guys, so we're moving on to the white chocolate mocha. You're going to put your pot on low because you don't want it to boil. And you're going to put about three-fourths cup of heavy whipping cream or milk, oat milk, whatever you want to use. I'm using heavy whipping cream because I like my creamer a little bit thick. And then you're going to use one can of condensed milk, like I said earlier about a tablespoon or a dash of vanilla and then however many uh, white chocolate chips that you want to use um, I'm probably going to use about half a cup uh, I'm about to let this drain out and I'll come back with you guys See how thick that is? That's how I like my creamer. But you do what you like. And you're just gonna keep on stirring until it's all incorporated with each other. See how there's still some white chocolate floating around? You want all that to be dissolved.
All right, guys, so I did my one-to-one -one ratio with my sourdough starter. It's Friday, and um, I have my times right here, um, my temperatures here, and then this is my cover. I did one part distilled water and one part all-purpose flour, and um, I'm going to feed it twice a day for seven days and see what happens. I'm not doing the grams, and I'm not doing all that. We just, if I go down a rabbit hole, it's not going to get done. So we just going to wing it and go from here. Um, I'm going to put it over there on my oven so uh, it can heat up. But, yep, guys, that is the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed or y'all want more videos like this, comment down below if you like the voiceovers or if you like me talking to you in real time. Um, but, uh yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, I've been enjoying making these videos for you guys, and I will be announcing the giveaway winner here in a second. So be on the lookout, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep you on your toes, because you never know. Bye. Anything I talk, where you talk, I go do one. I know they see another girl for my visuals. Yeah. Loving you, loving you, now in my ritual.